Were you just kidding about disarming that thing? No. I wasn't. Got my eye on you. Don't do anything stupid. Yes, sir. Have a good one. Oh, Moriarty Saloon. The Crater Side Supply. Oh, we found it. Okay. Tamper this... with that and we're going to have a problem. Wait, is it closed? Who are you? Look, I don't want to be rude, but I don't trust strangers. <laughs> That's so valid. Press T to wait till morning if you can't find a bed. Oh, 5.35 a.m. Seven hours. That's a long time. I'm not waiting. What's up? Hello. Who are you? You want something? Oh, who are you? Don't even think of breaking into that. I wouldn't do that. Now, I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Uh, what's on the menu? Hey, I won't say it's all fresh, but it'll keep you going. Lamco mac and cheese, Brahmin steak, Karam. Karam? <laughs> like spam? <laughs> Crispy squirrel bits, dandy boy apples, dirty water. Go on on a stick. I still don't have any money. Some people hate this place, but I guess that's their right. What the hell do they want out of life? Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. Swear. I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? Remember us if you need something. You got it, dude. All right, let's... Okay, so our mission right now is to go to Moriarty, so I guess we'll just... This place is so confusing. The Church of the Children of Adam. We'll just go in here and see what's going on in here. We'll we'll check it out. Hello. Who are you people? Speak to the confessor or the mother if you wish to know more. The confessor or the mother. Close your eyes and feel Adam's glow. Even those who are not dedicated children of Adam may bask in his glow. We'll we'll go back to that later. A little bit? Armory? Okay, this is the armory. Pick. Closed. Everything's closed. There's literal bathrooms. Open the door to the men's restrooms. You can add. Uh, okay. Oh, this is uh, pretty much what I envision most men's bathrooms as. Yep, sounds about right. Hello. Colin Moriarty. Always oh. pleased to see a new face. But I'm afraid you've had the misfortune to catch me, well, out of me element. I'm the owner and proprietor of Moriarty's, you see. The saloon? But please, see for yourself. Come by for a drink or twelve. You and I, oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. I was told not to, uh, trust you, my guy. Men's bathrooms have two toilets and an open tub to play in. Is that the community tub? Do they all take their baths in there? Blech. My God, it's you. The little baby girl all grown up. Persistent little flower, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? You're lying. The vault's been sealed for 200 years. My father and I were born in Vault 101. Uh... Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. I don't know if I've, I don't know if I should believe him or not. 
I almost feel like I should believe him. My dad told me we were born in Vault 101. Oh, I wasn't born in the vault. That's complete bullshit, and you know it. You're wrong. My dad would never would have lied to me. Uh... Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Okay. I was kidding. Dad talked about you all the time. Not really. Now really, where is he? Look, I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? Let's cut to the chase. How much for you to tell me where my father is? Tell me where he is, Moriarty. Or I'll beat it out of you. Uh, look, I just want to find my dad. You seem like a nice kid. So I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information. And information is a commodity. Let's say... A hundred cops. And daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. I ain't got no money. A hundred caps, are you nuts? I don't have that kind of money. I don't. Guilty as charged. Tell you what, kid. I'm gonna help you out. For old time's sake. If you don't have the caps to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Do you want me to do your dirty work? Anything to get information? You want me to do your dirty Who work? Who said anything about dirty work? You need some caps, and I'm giving you a way to get them. It's just business. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite oh. a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Oh, God. Get the caps she owes me, and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> oh, what's all this? Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of D.C. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the Wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. The Wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lass. Gotta Megaton make some money, bro. everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? Mmm. You sure about that? What can you tell me Stay about, the fuck out of me business. Don't go where you don't belong and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. Okay. What do you do around here? I keep here? these yokels knee-deep in booze and poon. They keep me knee-deep in caps. It's a fair trade, if you ask me. He's like, if I keep them busy, they won't cause problems. I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Feel the fear on her? Okay. Careful in DC now. Okay. Those super mutants can be a prickly bunch. <laughs> so we have to go... We have to go get money from Silver in Springvale, which is where that thing was that I did not want to touch. The big orb that was walking around or whatever. At least that's what it looked like. So I guess uh, that's the, the next traveler, step. Eh? Uh, Lucy. Oh, hello. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Uh, sure am. Stop to find something I hope to do. by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise, you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? So many side quests. I love it. Um, a job usually means. Hey, uh, you're pretty smart for a wasteland. Give me the details first. I need you to deliver a message to my family. They live in a small settlement northwest of here. If you bring it, I'm sure my dad will pay you. I'll tell you more if you agree. Please, I could really use your help. A job usually means I get paid. Actually, I don't have any caps with me. I used everything I had buying a shack in this town. But if you'd be nice enough to help me, I bet my father would pay you something for all the trip. What do you say? Sure. Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Aravu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Can you give me some information? Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. 
Where is it? Arfu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow hey. what's left of the river, you can't miss it. So are we technically in Virginia right now, or are we in Maryland? <laughs> That's the real question. Do you suspect your family's no, in danger? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Well, let's see. There's Evan Arthur. King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family. And a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. Okay. Is there anything dangerous around that I should know about? What? Apart from the wasteland critters, labor raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Okay. Okay. Alright, well, I guess we hey, go to our food at some point me. as well. It means a lot. What is oh, going on in here? Who are you? My, my. Oh. Just when I'd all but given up hope. My dear girl, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I <laughs> am Mr. Burke. What? And you. Well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. <laughs> Mr. Bergson, please continue. I find myself enthralled. Uh, if you've got a point, make it. As you wish. I'm looking to employ an individual with no ties to Megaton, no interest in its future. Megaton is obsolete. The last vestige of a cobbled, desperate past. It needs to go away. And you are going to see that it does. Uh... No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. No! I have a proposition of my own. Would you like to hear it, Mr. Burke? Oh, my Black Widow. Megaton is under my protection. You're going to leave now. All right, Mr. Burke, I'll do it. Megaton will burn. You're out of your mind, Burke. There's no way I'm helping you. I don't want to blow it up. I'm not helping him. Now that is a disappointment. Well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Good day. If I find oh, out that these people work. suck, then maybe we can talk. Is that maybe we can talk later. Huh? Jericho? Ah, look. Another one of you wasteland assholes. Look here, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. If I'm an asshole, you're an asshole, okay, dude? You don't look like you belong here. What's your story? What do you know about the wasteland? What do you do around here? You don't look like you belong here. There ain't here. much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. But I've put all that behind me. Are you considered what? getting back out there? Back out where? Out there in the wastes. You must be bored to tears. I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. Killing, stealing sounds fun, doesn't it? You're right, that sounds terrible. What is he, a changed man? Nah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Stupid idea anyway. Oh, man. Wait. Uh, I just asked him that. Um, what do you know about the wasteland? None of your fucking business. I'm just trying to get information, bro. What's your problem with me? What's your problem with me? Heh, <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think so. I'm not trying to fight this man. I don't want to fight him. You're goddamn right, never mind. Okay, 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 okay. Me? I don't do a damn thing. Well, 
Unless you count staying pissed drunk and making Moriarty rich or something. Sure, I'm the best shot in town with the rifle, so Good everyone comes running to old Jericho when the Raiders show up. But between raids, Raiders? they're content to take my money and drag me home when I've had too much. <laughs> a little drinking money might loosen my lips a bit. Give it a try. See what happens. I don't have money. Uh, I don't think Your so. call, kid. I'll have to ask come him back later. If you need something. I'll have to come talk to him later. Okay. Who are you, Gob? Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Bro, are you okay? Fuck! What are you? <laughs> stop it, ghoul, and stop looking at me. Let me think about this, my good man. Uh. Oh, God, it's so mean. Haven't you ever seen a ghoul before? No. Well, not all of us got the chance to hole up in a nice cushy vault when the bombs fell. A bunch of us got stuck out here in the world and got a full-on blast of heat and radiation. Turned us into a pack of walking corpses. Near as I can tell, we age slower than you. A lot slower. There were even a few ghouls that were alive during the war. Of course, with a face like ground Brahmin meat, you can imagine that folks don't take too kindly to us. Oh, shit. Nice of you to say so. If you can't be nice, at least pretend, right? <laughs> fake it till you make it, you know all that. <laughs> Still, though, a fake compliment is better than the usual... Let's try to make you feel better. You're not half bad for a smooth skin. Oh, I got karma! Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, maybe he's seen my father. Oh yeah, I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Okay, I already talked to him. Uh, please, if you know anything about my father, you need to tell me. I talked to Moriarty, and he's trying to charge me for the info. Um, if you know anything else that could help, I really appreciate it. Uh, That's his way. Always putting me. caps before people's lives. I wish someone would stand up to him one day. Oh, my. I shouldn't be saying all of this. I'm sorry. I, I really must get back to work. I can't get involved. Damn. I'm so sorry. Where did you come from? A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, well, I found this place. I'm sorry. I'm sort of stuck here. <laughs> Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room. <laughs> of course. Too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. Okay. What's all this... What's this about Galaxy Mr. News Moriarty radio? says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping to fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that instead of being stuck in this dive. I need a drink. Sure thing. Beer, scotch, stim packs. Okay, so like everybody sells, sells stim packs, right? Do some... Did I sell... Oh, he buys the vodka for more. The other guy only... Bought it for 10, so he buys it for 12. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I have 24 caps now. I have a little bit of money. These aren't really helpful. Can I sell these? The Vault 101 security armor? They don't really do anything besides damage resistance. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it just in case I can use it for see you repairing, soon, maybe. Did he just say see you soon, Pookie? Come back soon. You got it, Pookie. I heard Pookie. Who, who are you? Are you hey, Nova? Nova. I want to talk to you. Yeah, honey. What do you need? I was thinking, maybe you and me, we could go out sometime. You're sweet, Jericho. You really are. But Colin says that things between us is best kept on a professional level. If it were up to me, 
Nah, it's okay, Nova. I get it. No one wants anything to do with the crusty old wasteland rat like me less than they're getting paid. I understand. Point your eyes somewhere else. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. He couldn't yeah, handle no the one. rejection. Oh my god, not again. No, we're yeah. not doing this again. He couldn't handle the rejection. <laughs> he felt threatened. Uh, hello, Nova. Um... Have you seen him? Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Stop hitting on my father! Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Damn it. Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is the only one who's gonna help you. Jericho, can Talk you leave? God. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something, but I doubt it. Uh, how much for a room? Well, for you, a room and some company okay. will run you 120 caps. Up front. Some company? Okay, no thanks. Okay, then. Uh, what's the story with the Who, ghoul? Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. Do you ever, you know, work with him? With Gob? <laughs> well, he's sweet, and, and I know that he'd like to. It's just, well... <laughs> I don't want to sound shallow or anything. I mean, I'm a whore. My standards aren't exactly high. But there are places even I won't go. Johnnies that are squishier than me are one of them. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Well, the miserable bastard is hard oh, on God. all of us. But Gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know? Sure something thing, I baby. just didn't need to what know. What did you have on your mind? All right, um, I'm not really interested in hiring her. Uh, I'm just gonna go. Take care of yourself, hon. Thanks. Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not consenting to this. Oh my God, I'm trapped. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right, so, so I, it sounds like we've got our, we've got our next steps hey. here. Hello. Crater side. Oh, it's right there underneath the airplane. Can I? What happens if I... Oh, I didn't take damage. I thought it was going to take damage for sure. Hello! Welcome to Craterside Supply! Hi! Hey! I hear you're that stray from the vault! Oh, I haven't <laughs> seen one of you for years! Good to meet you! I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? I've got plenty great. to say. <gasps> Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like I can trust her. I just, I just feel like I could trust her. She seems very sweet. It was paradise down there. No fear, no worries. No fighting until dad left. Oh my God, it's so sad. This outside place is amazing in the main room. I can't even see the ceiling. <laughs> they send ambassador from the Utopia of Vault 101. Uh, bow before my glory, Jesus. How do people live out here? I haven't found a food dispenser anywhere. It's cramped dark and the food sucked. Good riddance. Uh, I, <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna do this outside place. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to replace that big light bulb up there too. That's great for a forward. <laughs> Open with a joke and all that. Here, take the suit. Something tells me you might need it. That'll be good for the book. Oh my god. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Armored Vault 101 jumpsuit added. Ooh. What's this book you're working on? Pay, what sort of pay, and what sort of work? 
that sort of work. Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and, I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort like of reading. stuff. You know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? Yes, please. Tell me more. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when Moira. that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. She wants me to be the guinea pig. <laughs> Moira, I feel like for you, I will do anything. Sounds like a great idea. I can't wait to help. Okay, I guess I'll help with the survival guide. Tell me more about the pay. I'm afraid I'm going to have to pass. I won't be your lab rat. Oh. All right, then. Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, oh sounds God. like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Uh, we'll do what... Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Okay. I'll check the Super Duper Mart. Imagine if there were actually places called Super Duper Marts. What's the pay? Hopefully, you'll be finding food and medicine. But I could sweeten the deal by paying more food when you get back, regardless of the results. While you're away, I can at least search through my junk and see if there's anything that'll go with old food to make it more appetizing. Okay, I'll go check oh, it out. Oh, great! Food is most important. But see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Okay, what about the android? Have you heard the so-called android recording? It sounds like an ordinary man. Here's a spare copy of that old holotape. It's a hoax for sure. I bet it is. Uh, tell me about the holotape. I guess they sent those tapes to lots of people. Especially people like me who are interested in technology. Boy, I wish androids were real, though. Interesting. Okay, we'll have to listen to that in a second. Have you thought about disarming the bomb? Oh, I couldn't do that. It'd be a real blow to those nice folks in the church. Besides, it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone. Live and let live, right? Mm-hmm. A huge blow to the people in the church? Because they're the children of Adam? Uh, I just have specialty <gasps> items. I ever... I've got the schematics for something called a rocket launcher. I sell all the components, too, so you can make the weapon yourself. Okay. Don't worry about ammo. This baby shoots all the junk you might find out there in the wasteland. Ashtrays, teddy bears, you name it. In fact, if you ever need to make any custom weapons, feel free to use my workbench here in the shop. All you need is the schematics and parts. You got it, dude. Can you repair my equipment? Unless it's a steaming pile of slag, I'd say yes. Oh, sweet. Okay. Okay, cool. Good luck with that research. Thanks, Moira. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. I feel like I kind of want to do this one first. So we'll go find the we'll go find the super duper mart. Leave me out of that girl's crazy experiments. I don't get paid enough for that. Okay. You got it, dude. Look at how cute my character is. She's so cute. Okay. I just wanted to, uh... Oh, God. How do I... There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Going over here. Going on a ship. Going our favorite rocket ship. Oh! Where's my gun? Okay, there we go. That's a gun. What is this? Can I jump? <gasps> Ow! What the hell are you? Uh. 
Did I kill it? No, I did. It says if I... Oh, I, I see now. Okay. There we go. Oh. Epic! Uh, wait, crippled? Crippled? Wait, what? Die! Oh, there we go. I thought I killed it. Like, I thought the health bar was empty at the bottom, but I guess I was- I had to look at the other one. Boat- bloat fly. Bloat fly. Okay. Um... Alright, let's see where we need to go. Okay, we just need to keep going straight down into here. I heard something. Is there a bug down here? Where is it? Um, I feel like the radio would be like perfect to listen to right now. Mm. I would just curl up and die if I found myself in a scenario like this. <laughs> Honestly, same. Paradise? Corvette- Corvena? Cor- or Corvega? Is that the name of the car? Corvega? Is that it down here? That must be it. By robots shit. And the other shit, by shit, 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 shit. Oh, that's a person! Seems to be Are they gonna the kill me? Nutty scene, Wait. The scuffles ending in a stalemate. So if your travels take you- Those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me. Uh, I thought this person was gonna kill me. Okay, okay. All right, also, I need to do something really super fast. Did my game just crash? Game might have crashed. <laughs> and I haven't saved. <laughs> we might be starting over. I'm actually okay with that because I used all of my, um, I used all of my ammo and I don't, I, I kind of am upset about that. And we're just gonna... Oh. Okay. Whoa! Excuse me? Oh. Sir. I- You are a vicious dog. That is so uncalled for. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You have got to die. You're dying. Okay, get out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> Ew, dog meat. Can I like sell this? That's gross. I'm really sorry that I had to kill you, but you were trying to kill me first, so. Um, it's just the unfortunate consequences of your actions, little dog. Animal cruelty, I'm calling the police. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Okay. Corvega. Corvega. Whoa! Those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me. I'm sorry, what? That child just spawned out of nowhere. Whoa! <laughs> I was not ready for that. I was not ready for that. Um, those what? What's the matter? Calm down, kid. What the heck is your problem? Uh, what's the matter? Those things. They keep coming. They scare me. Make it stop. It's gonna be okay. I promise. Unless you tell me what the problem is, I can't help you. 
I'm gonna say it once. Stop your whining. Uh. I'll try my speech. No. Those things. I'm never gonna pass. They're right behind me. Leave me alone. What is behind you? Unless you tell me what your problem is, I can't help you. Those things. It's all their fault. They did this to us. Who? Brian, who? Quit your whining, you freaking child. No, you don't care. The grown-ups never cared. Now they're all dead. Well, fine. You'll just die, too. No! No, 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 no. I don't want to kill a child. I just killed a dog. I can't handle this. Please don't get mad at me. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Just help me. Promise you'll help me. You gotta tell me what's wrong, bro. You look like a tasty sacrament of monster. Help cost caps. You look pretty broke to me. I'd like to help, but I need to know more first. Those big things. They're all over Great Itch. And they killed everyone. Great Itch. Please, mister. Please find my papa. Mister? I am a woman. I am a woman. <clears throat> my pronouns are she, her. Mrs. Miss, 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 Miss. <laughs> Brian Wilkes needs to calm the fuck down. <laughs> Can you tell me more about the things attaching Great Well, itch? they're big, ugly things that crawl around on six legs. They got huge teeth and skitter around grabbing everything in their path. My papa would always say they're fucking ants. Well, that's what he used to call them anyway. I just call them fire ants. Watch your mouth! <laughs> Watch your freaking mouth! Is there any special way to hurt them? Uh, how are they always been around? Uh, let me, let me ask you something. Uh, is there a special way to hurt them? My papa had a gun. He said it hurt those things. But he said they were the dumbest fucking ants he ever saw. <laughs> he kept telling everyone to shoot for their antenna. Whatever that means. Shoot for their antenna. Shoot for their antenna. Shoot for their antenna. I wonder if that, like, is how you, um, disable them or something. Have they always been around? Nah. Those things started coming around only in the last few months. At first, they just crawled around outside our town. But later, they came into town. And, well, you know the rest. Let me ask you something All else. right. What is it? What happened here? It used to be kind of nice. No one bothered us there. I guess because we were so close to D.C. There were seven of us living there in tall, old brick houses. I think I'm the last one left. Those things took everyone else. They took them or they killed them? You know, the others in town. Nah. Though. People don't like to stay long in Great Itch. The DC ruins aren't a great place to make a home, you know. In fact, Papa was talking about moving on soon. We've been here for maybe a year. Who else lived in Great Itch? Um, besides me and my Papa, there was Doc Lesko, who stayed with us, and Will Brandis, and his Mama and Papa, too. I guess they're all gone now. Are you just here by yourself? People who lived here. Nah, go ahead. It's just nice to talk to anyone about stuff at all. Tell me about Doc Lesko. He was a strange man. He paid Papa some caps to help him build a shack and carry a bunch of junk into it. Papa called him an egghead, but his head was shaped regular, so I didn't get it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, where did Dr. Lesko He spent all stay? of his time in that shack next door to my house. Every time I'd sneak in there, he'd be sitting at that funny-looking TV machine with the green words pushing buttons. So a computer? Did Dr. Lesko have any weird stuff in his place? I don't know. All kinds of doohickeys. Boxes with lots of lights, some funny glass bottles. Oh wait, he had a big, clunky, shiny man too. That was kind of neat. A what? Your house? Where's your house? Look for the house nearest to the billboard. That's sticking out of the ground. It's pretty close to the diner. You can't miss it. There are so many billboards. So it's by the diner. Alright, I'll go look for your You dad. will? Really? Thanks a whole lot. My house is the one closest to the huge sign in the old diner. 
Please. Find my papa and make him come back. Is there anywhere you can hide while I search? This probably isn't the best place for you to stand. Alright, is there anywhere you can hide while well, I search? Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said to stay away from it. But I guess it's supposed to be safe. I'll head over there and wait personal inside. Personal shelter? Hurry back. Bye, kid. Oh! Oh, shit! They're all dying! Oh my god, I gotta get down there! Can I help? I want to help you! <gasps> oh! It's coming for me! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. 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 Um... Okay. Get your nasty little grubby oh. ant hands off me! Die! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> okay, well at least I'm- okay, crippled. There we go. I, I, I wish there was a better like indicator for when I got hit. Cause I know that the blood pops up on the screen, but it's hard for me to tell when I'm getting hit. And then I look down at my health bar and I have no fucking health left. And I'm like, oh my God. Okay. Oh, there's something over there that is not good. That's disgusting. Save. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if I should try to go talk to him or... If he's gonna kill me. I don't know if this... I guess I can sell this. Pre-war money. Pre-war money! Oh, caution. Wait, what? Bobby pin. Activate intercom? Okay. Take dirty water. Should I take the dirty water? Is the dirty water going to help me? Value. Laser pistol? I got a laser pistol. <laughs> Ooh, I got two laser pistols. Bottle cap mine. Oh, baby. Oh, stim packs. Let's go. Uh, empty whiskey bottle. Don't need that. What is this ammunition box? <gasps> oh! Ooh! This is our first lock pick. Apply torque with the screwdriver. Rotate the bobby pin. Force lock. When torque is applied, the closer the bobby pin is to the correct position, the sweet spot, the more the lock will rotate before the bobby pin breaks. Only when the bobby pin is in the correct position will the lock rotate fully and open. You can also try to open a lock by forcing it, but if you fail, the lock will be permanently broken and it can only be opened with a key. Okay. This is going to be a challenge, I think. <laughs> when torque is applied, the closer the bobby pin is to the correct position or sweet spot, the more the lock will rotate before the bobby pin breaks. This is going to be bad. I can, I can already feel it. How am I supposed to know? Is it the sound? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I 
did it. I did it. <laughs> I have no idea what happened, but I did it. <laughs> food storage. <clears throat> oh, baby. Oh, shit. We got a lot of food. Okay, cool. Find food in the Super Duper Mart. Return to Moira. Oh, so that was like the main objective. Sweet. So we did that. We'll take the vodka because we can sell that. Wasn't I also supposed to find healing stuff here? I feel like I kind of want to try. Quick save really quick. Still have to do- Yeah, the optional one was to find healing, right? Let's see, quest. Optional find medicine in the super duper mart. Yeah, I want to do that. Um... Okay, he's over there in that aisle. Why are there people hanging from the ceiling? That is so creepy. I don't understand the layout of this freaking- Oh, there's a lot of people in here. Holy crapola. Is that the pharmacy section back there? <laughs> the layout- The layout of the store is so weird. <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ah! You like that, huh? You like that? Fuck. Oh my god, this is so not ideal. I didn't think that was gonna happen. <laughs> 